Hello, I'm a Canadian guy. Zombies, the walking dead. For long as man has been aware of the constant of death, he has feared that those who have gone before will return, rise from their graves, and walk the earth again. Why not about religion? Let's talk about movie zombies. There are many different forms of movie zombies, and to discuss them, I am joined by Professor Reginald Mortis of Oxford, England, and Dr. Otto Frank of the University of Stein. Gentlemen, welcome. Thank you. I am pleased to be here. Danke. I am glad to be here. Now then, let's start with Dr. Mortis. Doctor, what is the first type of film zombie, and how can we defeat them? Well, the first variety... <laughs> At last, with this secret formula, once I put it into the water supply, I'll create an army of zombies that only I can control. <laughs> Myron, what are you doing here? First of all, you weren't invited, and second, this is how to defeat zombies, not make them. What? This is about how to stop zombies? Ew, um, um, can you give me five minutes? Sorry about that, Dr. Mortis. Please continue. Ahem. By 1968, we have the living dead. That name, Cadaverous Animus Romero. More commonly known as the headshot zombie. These are the recent dead. Their brain is activated by space radiation. They are only a minor threat, possessing a slow movement, only basic instincts, and a fear of fire. They are especially known for their tendency to gather in large areas such as shopping malls. And how do we beat them? As the nickname implies, we destroy their brains. A bullet to the head or a sufficiently strong bow will render them inert. The problem, though, is getting close enough as they are particularly ravenous. I see. Professor, any thoughts to add to that? Yeah, danke. These zombies are driven by hunger and instinct. They seek out buildings and are very tenacious. Once they are certain that a structure is inhibited, they will encircle it and besiege it for a very long time. The best defense is strong doors and blocked windows, and a mode of fire. An emergency exit to a helicopter or underground tunnel is an excellent fallback plan. Thank you, Professor. Dr. Mortis? The second variety is another for the living dead, Skeletus animus russo, or brains zombies. These are actual dead forms animated by a government created chemical, first appearing in 1985. These dead are driven by their pain, as they can feel their bodies decomposing. Unfortunately, the only source of relief is the endorphins found in human brains. Very fast, very clever, they are extremely dangerous. And their weaknesses? Professor, these zombies are very hard to beat. Destroying the brain does nothing, as a very cell structure has been animated by the chemical. And even chopping them to bits only slows them down. The best defense is to incinerate them completely. Be very cautious in the disposal of the ashes, as they can still cause the same effect on other dead bodies. Luckily, they tend to be small outbreaks, limited by the degree of the chemical exposure, and a small government firebomb strike will usually deal with the problem. Of course, the problem there is surviving yourself. And the third variety doctor? This is a subgenre, and there is great debate as to whether they actually qualify as zombies. The outbreak or rage zombie, Latin name Regius Zombius Matheson, first appeared in 1964. It is created by a widespread viral outbreak, sometimes caused by experiments gone awry, or chemical warfare. The victims exhibit extreme rage, violent outbursts, and occasionally vampiric tendencies. Oh my, that does sound very nasty. Professor, the first and most important thing is to avoid becoming infected. This is very difficult indeed. We need either to be immune to the worldwide pandemic, or to have been isolated during the initial outbreak. This variety is extremely infectious and great care needs to be taken. Bodily fluids, saliva, blood, etc. will be virulent, and any exposure will cause you to become infected very rapidly. Should you succeed in destroying any of the zombies, their bodies must be burned immediately. And weaknesses, Doctor? One of the symptoms is extreme photophobia. Sufferers will be unable to withstand even a small degree of light, and also will be dormant or hidden during the daylight hours. At night, you will need a fortified stronghold and several powerful lights to ward them off. These zombies are not actually dead, and are thus vulnerable to more traditional methods. They may be, able, may be able to shrug off minor wounds due to adrenaline, but most long-range weapons will be effective in killing them. Well, this has been very informative, and thank you both very much for your time. You are very welcome. I am glad I was able to help. My pleasure. Thank you for having me. This is that Canadian guy. And if you excuse me, I have some windows to board up. No, don't go! Don't go! I've got something! I've got something right here! Oh, bugger!
as the name implies, we destroy their brains. A bow to the head or a sufficiently strong bow? Oh, I see it, dear boy. Care for a spot of tea?